Hi, welcome back. Today's thinking, I have been, well, I was in discussion with a colleague uh, this afternoon after today's shift on my day job, and I was basically offering them some support because they, they, they'd been quite upset by uh, something that had happened. And that got me thinking, and when, when I got home, I thought quite a lot about it, and someone will have said this before, but I've noticed over what, the last 10 years, I guess, that mental health for employees has has sort of gone up the, um, the corporate... Uh, priority list and that's a that's a great thing but i wonder what it might be like to sort of say to the companies why don't you stop doing the things that trigger the deterioration in your employees mental health because it seems that, that you know policies and procedures are in place to you know, maximise return on investment for the stockholders and the company, um, you know, make sure that legal things are, are upheld, and these priorities cost the employees. I mean, to over-dramatise it, it's like the company walking up to you, punching you in the face, and saying, oh, here's a pastor. Whereas actually it's the punching in the face that's the problem. It's not the size or the availability of the plasters. One of the joys of living in, in late stage capitalism. Um, and that sort of comes back because I'm reading David Runciman's um, Confronting Leviathan. I've just got to the final chapter, which is Fukuyama and the end of history and the last man. Um, so maybe that's clouding clouding my thinking a bit and it's also election day here in the UK local elections so some people get to vote but not me uh, some regions get to vote but not the one I currently live in so yes there's a lot, lot going on outside of photography and so you, that that makes me ask what's this got to do with photography I think it's because all these things inform the way that I look for pictures. You know, uh, as I've said in previous episodes, being being at the start of this, or well, pretty much the start of this, I'm recognising that it's a lot of what drives my selection of subjects and scenarios is my personal story, and that inevitably involves politi politics. Uh, which are for me sort of center center left so i think that is going to influence what i look for and how i present what i found also how i edit what i found as well so it's, it's going to influence right through the process and i think that's a story worth telling not from my point of view, I guess, but from the subject. So I'll continue. I could have asked the fellow employee for a portrait. I think I might at some point, but not, but not yet. Uh, I'll check back in tomorrow with another with another update on mental health, photography, probably politics as well, and uh, how things move forward. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I'll see you tomorrow.